the Grey Aliens Theory. We have all heard the stories of alien abductions, by small grey beings. Their victims, after receiving hypnotic regression, describe them as being very thin, short, grey-coloured skin, with large black eyes. Let's hypothesize why they might look this way, and what would be the effects of long-term space travel. We assume they are not from our solar system. Therefore they must have traveled many light years through space. What is space? A dark empty void of vastness, light years in between solar systems. Unless a being could travel at, or near the speed of light, it would take many generations to reach any destination. If you could crank yourself up to 1% of light speed, our closest star, Alpha Centauri is more than four and a half centuries away at cruising speed. Let's examine the effects of generational space travel. The long-term effects of low gravity, over many generations of being in space, would result in the loss of muscle mass, or muscle atrophy. Inbreeding results in increased homozygosity, which can increase the chances of offspring being affected by recessive or deleterious traits. What the fuck did all that mean? This generally leads to a decreased fitness of a population, which is called inbreeding depression. An individual who results from inbreeding is referred to as inbred. Reduced fertility both in litter size and sperm viability, causes increased genetic disorders, fluctuating facial asymmetry, lower birth rate, higher infant mortality, slower growth rate, smaller adult size, loss of immune system function. Does this sound familiar? One might think they would bring along extra diverse DNA samples, to regenerate, and resolve this potentially dangerous aspect of their trip. Another result of long-term space travel, would be the loss of skin pigment, and generational mutation would explain the apparent large eyes, resulting from long-term lack of exposure to sunlight, during their travels through deep space. For example, here on Earth in dark caves, small creatures are found, never have seen the light of day, prosper vigorously. These cave creatures show traits of that which resemble our grey alien friends. With no pigment, and large black eyes for seeing in the lightless caves. Now their race has reached an impasse, they no longer have enough of their own viable DNA left to continue on with their travels. Their agenda now, is to acquire new sources of DNA, from humans, animals, or anything they can get their hands on. The DNA is needed for diversification of what is left of their degraded DNA, and to add locality to their civilization. Hybrid projects are taking place on their crafts as we speak, creating a new mixed race to continue on the mission of exploration throughout the galaxy. Unearthed alien skulls seem to tell a compelling story all by themselves. Ancient people revered the aliens as gods. Indigenous peoples around the world, disfigure their children, by binding their heads in order to elongate the skull. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. This scenario takes place in Stargate the sci-fi series, in the last episode of the tenth season, the Asgard aliens seem to have suffered the same problem. Our governments denied the fact that they exist, and claim they are not a threat to our national security. But in reality, apparently our technology has no effect on their craft, and we are unable to defend our people against these abductions or flyovers over restricted airspaces, 